Matthew Maloney, a student in Professor Waldron's lab at MSU, and I'll be discussing this paper on the improved overlap extension PCR method. Overlap extension PCR, or OEP, is a valuable technique that is commonly used for cloning large complex fragments, making edits to clone genes, or fusing two gene elements together. However, there are some limitations to this OEP process. Due to the inefficient priming, OEP results in linear amplification, which limits its use to fragments shorter than 6.7 kilobases. Thus, researchers improve the OEP by supplying primers during the OEP process to gain an exponential amplification. So within the improved overlap extension PCR or IOEP method, an insert with a desired gene is PCR amplified with the primer so that the final PCR product has overlapping regions with the vector. Then the plasmic DNA is denatured. As for type A, it goes through a similar method as standard OEP in which the primers bind and anneal. In type D, primer one and primer three, the additional primer overlap and bind to the target sequence to add the complementary nucleotides, then the product can be used as a template for exponential amplification. As for type B, it also has the additional primer that adds the complementary nucleotides, but it also has primer one that takes the insert with the homologous ends and adds the following complementary nucleotides from five prime to three prime. Then the resulting product moves to part E where primer extension occurs. So the resulting hybridized insert with the loose ends will bind to the plasmid and start extension to add the nucleotides complementary to the template strand. And then from there, I'll go to type D again, and then the amplified products would be treated with exonuclease to further increase its transformation efficiency. So the efficiency of IOEP with and without T4 DNA polymerase was analyzed and compared with OEP by implementing the GFP DNA fragment into the plasmid. So based on the results, as for the IOEP GFP colonies with the T4 DNA polymerase treatment, the number of colonies was significantly higher than the IOEP without the polymerase and the standard method. In addition, the efficiency of IOEP was examined by comparing how well the two methods obtained a 12 kilobase vector. And so from the gel electrophoresis results, the only one that was able to amplify the fragment was IOEP. And this is because of the size limitation of the standard process. So the results indicate that this new improved method can amplify large overlap extension products. And so the number of colonies from this improved method is about 10 times that of the standard. And they took eight random colonies from both methods and found that half of the colonies from the IOEP contains the target gene fragment. Meanwhile, the standard didn't contain any of the gene fragment. So then they replaced a fragment from the plasmid with two fragments simultaneously and found out that five out of the eight randomly chosen colonies contains the target gene fragment, thus showing that IOEP can be used to clone two DNA fragments at the same time. And then furthermore, they investigated the effects of inserting and replacing multiple DNA fragments at different sites simultaneously, whether in a separate tube or in a single tube. And from that, they found that the single tube resulted in half of the colonies containing the correct inserts, and the separate tubes resulted in seven out of the eight positive colonies, so having the correct inserts. So most importantly, improved overlap extension PCR can be used for multiple insertion, deletion, and replacement of large DNA fragments not only at a single site, but also at multiple sites simultaneously.